Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming here for our event today and providing us a privilege to present our story in front of you. I am representing biz to credit and our digital lending platform, biz to x And I would want to introduce uh, our organization and our co-founder to you. Uh, we have with us Rohit Arora, who's joined us from New York. And uh, he has been the visionary uh, who has created biz to credit as an organization uh, almost a decade back. Uh, he started at a time when uh, there was nothing called digital. And the earliest technology adopters were starting with online banking. And being Indians, having co-founded a largely successful organization in the financial services industry in New York, in uh, USA, has been a hugely creditable success uh, driven by both Rohit and his brother, Ramit Arora, who are both our co-founders. And uh, just to give a little insight, Rohit has been quoted by a lot of media across in US, including CNBCs. He is considered an expert in lending uh, in US. He has been consulted by a lot of uh, banks, financial institutions, not only in USA, but also uh, across the world. We're talking to people in Dubai, in India, in Australia, in Hong Kong. And uh, he's here to share with us uh, a big announcement for what biz to credit wants to do for uh, their operations in India and how they want to kind of uh, help the financial institutions uh, in India to further the digital uh, process that they have started, which has been kind of supported by a lot of ecosystem. So with that short introduction, let me call over Mr. Rohit Arora, our co-founder. Please welcome to the stage, Rohit. So can you guys hear me well? Yeah, yeah. So thank you for the kind words uh, from Ajit, uh, you know. I'm not used to this long introduction in US, but <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, so I think, I think it's a very important time, uh, uh, you know, for uh, the world uh, as we are emerging from post, uh, we are getting into post COVID, uh, not fully out from the COVID, but I think the world has seen such dramatic amount of changes over last 18 months. Uh, uh, and I think as we call it, it's like a black swan event. And what, what we have been doing for last 11, 12 years is that, you know, we, me and my brother, we started the company in New York. We are from India. We, we are very proud about that. And uh, starting a financial services business in New York, being a first generation immigrant was very tough. Uh, so we started the business when there was no FinTech as a term or digital was just getting started. So obviously over the years, you know, we have built a fairly successful business uh, uh, in, the, in the US market. We do two things there. We do SMB lending, SME lending business, and we also provide a platform to large number of banks and other financial institutions, as you will see. I think what we are really proud about the fact is that all, all our technology and IP that we have developed has been developed from India. You know, so for us, India is a front office. We have a large workforce in India already. And over the last two, three years, we have now started uh, doing a lot of work in India, which you will see. We have some very good name brand clients already in India. And now we're going to expand very rapidly into the India market. We are seeing a lot of uh, inbound inquiries, a lot of interest. And as the digitization of the economy is gathering such a big pace, you know, we are also uh, investing a lot of resources into that. And as I said, you know, we have two, two brands that we really work. You know, we have Biz to Credit, which is the lending part. And then we have Biz to X, which is our software and data analytics platform. And we are present in four countries right now, US, Canada, Australia, and India. And, uh, and we are expanding pretty, uh, pretty fast. So the key thing is that you know, we are a, one of those companies which have been you know, headquartered in US, but mostly built from India. And created a lot of very high quality jobs in India and built a lot of proprietary expertise, which we are expanding and offering back into the India markets. 
and we will be making some other big announcements over next you know few weeks also obviously we're making one big announcement today so the whole idea is that you know uh, how do we uh, create the ecosystem in this play uh, so as we said you know we are headquartered in new york uh, based out of uh, all our technology centers are in india uh, we have over 600 people now in the company uh, you know we have done over 8 billion dollars uh, in the in the sme lending uh, and i think the key thing is that this year has been a very interesting year for us in us when the us government launched their flagship uh, program to help small businesses during the covid crisis we are the number one fintech player in that right now we did over 5 billion dollar of lending through our platforms and we are very proud about that uh, that has given us a lot of visibility in the us markets that has also helped us to you know showcase our best to x platform because everything was done in the best to x platform and 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 what this platform really is that it it's actually what we learned and built it and then we started offering it to other institutions so we are not a software company per se we are practitioners ourselves we understand uh, our needs pain points and then we build something and then we actually offer it out there and this is very important because i think what this is doing is that this is changing the way uh, the you know the digital finance is delivered and especially what is happening in covid has been that you know globally including india that the smes have suffered the most the small and mid sized enterprises and every government out there whether it's us government indian government they are very focused on that and now i think the announcement that the indian government has recently made opening the uh, i would say the data piece for uh, the sme space is going to be a game changer so we can already see that the advent of open banking the advent of you know the digitization that's the next wave like what happened with upi in india now it's going to happen with the other announcements which have been made so one of the things that we do really well is that you know we we are partners to large number of banks fintechs uh, you know in india you know we work with large nbfcs like tata capital you know they use our platform already and now we are working with some of some of the other you know large institutions also the idea is that we create ecosystems you know we are not trying to go and say that everything we will do on our own we are saying that the best way the world is going to work is now in a collaboration and that will come when companies like ours work with banks nbfcs other fintechs and everybody actually has one aim is to help smes to get access to credit grow their business because smes are the biggest growth engine in any economy even in a, in a economy like us which has the most fortune 500 companies uh, you know 95% of the employment still happens in smes you know 70% of the gdp still comes from smes and that's one reason why us government is so focused on helping their small businesses and that's the same thing in india if if india wants to become a 5 trillion dollar economy the only way is that you know our small and mid sized businesses really become extremely competitive globally and that will only happen if there's digitization there's access to credit there's access to more data out there and this is something very important so one of the things that we have done with our best to x platform is that typically it has been very time consuming process very expensive process for banks nbfcs fintechs and even small businesses to go and use technology you know these are multi million dollar implementation that takes years and years we have cut then that time out you know we are now going at a pace where we can install a new platform in like less than 90 days you know uh, at a very low upfront cost and we also change a lot of the ways that you know people have to pay so instead of paying upfront a lot of money it's it's pay per transaction so it's imagining like you know what happened what amazon web services did to the cloud business where they came in and instead of investing all the money up front to build data centers or to have your own cloud or own infrastructure you could literally rent it and pay as you use it and as you scale so this is what the this whole revolution is looking like the other benefit of this is that this also creates a ecosystem so in a market like us you know we have partnered with aicpa we have created a ecosystem that more than 10000 cpa firms now work on our platform we are going to replicate that in india so that you know the chartered accountant firms the accountants get that same ecosystem then they can offer and deliver it to their sme clients because that's very important that that whole digitization has to be democratized it can't be just you know done by large organizations and the cost has to go down so this is very important for us that the open platform 
and then having the best security because cyber risk is going up like crazy as the world goes more digital one of the biggest risk is hacking you know and then you know you have to have a really high grade security protocols and all that and how do you do that you do that by you know, putting in a lot of investment upfront ongoing basis but also then you know giving it in a secured manner and delivering it in a secured manner to all the players in the ecosystem so that's an important piece what we have done till now you know so obviously in us we have 40 plus clients including large banks like hsbc city bank uh, you know in india you know tata capital and hsbc are using our platform already very extensively in this market uh, you know we are expanding in a very rapid manner uh, you know in other markets we already run the largest commercial loan platform in australia and the the power of technology is that especially in the post covid world is that now you can go global very quickly and you can also connect indian small businesses to the global trade chains and supply chains by using a platform like this and that's what our vision is because for india us is their biggest export market uh, you know and some of the other markets so the whole idea is that how do you create that ecosystem and the ability to connect various dots where credit becomes a centerpiece and then you can offer other products and that i think is very important with this you know one of the things that we are doing in the india market is that we are going to invest a lot of money a lot of resources and one of the things that you know we and that's why we called in this press meet today is that you know we are investing over 100 million dollars in the india market both to create more infrastructure for uh, you know doing and delivering this digital platform but also investing more to launch more platforms and products into india a great example is revenue based financing products like the rbi is gonna is coming up with norms right now to, to actually let even non bank companies to do that and we are a very big player in revenue based financing in the us market we do around a billion dollar a year in that already we have the best platforms out there so we are already working with some of our partners in india that as rbi allows that to happen revenue is and revenue based financing is a very very good product because it's not a fixed payback product it's something that you know businesses can pay as they earn revenue and that something is going to totally change this market also because the the need for credit and the crunch of credit has actually gone up a lot of smes in india right now the post covid world are actually not doing well while the digital economy is doing well uh, on ground the smes are not doing well and they need a lot of support right now the way the support is going to come is not by overloading them with debt uh, 